This is an ultrasound study of uh, four years old boy. Presented with the PDO now <coughs> swelling on the face that his father noted. Has been on treatment from different doctors for the last two months and this is his, his first ever ultrasound without any um, clinical notes, no lab profile, no investigative procedures, no x-rays, nothing. So, we're uh, performing the ultrasound. <coughs> what I noted was, I'm going to share with you this uh, four years old boy's pathology. And, uh, first thing that I noted <coughs> was <laughs> is the pathology relating to the uh, right kidney. As you see, this is the enlarged view of the right kidney of this four years old boy. Now, you see that the central sinus psychocomplex is muffled and uh, the pyramids are prominent. Here, you see these are the pyramids. pyramids. This is the central sinus psychocomplex. However, the dimensions of the liver are very normal. So this is uh, the kidney with the that I was explaining to you with prominent pyramids, muffled, rather muffled central sinus echocomplex at the age of four years, globally or diffuse, increased in parenchymal echogenicity, and uh, with uh, reserved parenchymal thickness though, and intact corticomedullary differentiation. When we see uh, the cortex and the medulla. This is the cortical region. This is the capsule of the right kidney. And uh, when you see that the parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney is raised, the pyramid is significantly prominent. Uh, so this uh, points towards some renal disorder. <coughs> the measurement that we were, it measures. 7.8 centimeters in length and uh, 3.8 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter, which is a normal. Yeah, so the dimensions are normal. Now let's see the left kidney. This is the left kidney. The same that you were seeing in the right kidney. This is the left kidney, measuring 7.2 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. 3.6 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter, 7.2 in length, and 3.8 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter with intact capsule, globularly diffuse, increased parenchymal echogenicity, muffled central psychocycle complex, very prominent, significantly prominent pyramids. When I try to see the transfers of this kidney, I come across a suspicious area. Now, this is the longitudinal section, 90 degree. I have given 90 degree angle to the probe. This see, shows you the transfer section of the left kidney around which uh, the kidney is not uh, beautifully visualized in that in this view. However, uh, this view may suffice. Suffice to show you the knowledge. Now, this is the left kidney in transfer section. And this is a hypopoic 
mass with internal calcification and multiple tiny cystic area within it. With posterior wall acoustic enhancement that suggests that this is sort of a cystic area that is filled with different strength internal echoes along with uh, uh, internal calcification. This small area, black area, is the fluid. And uh, these are the bubbles.
often you see centurion pork and it's pork and for fruit and the Japanese region for two thirds is filled with the fruit and therefore tiny hypogenic area are seen. And there are multiple hypogenicities, tiny within this collection and it crosses the midline as well. You see, this is the midline. Now I am at the, just above the umbilical region. So it crosses the midline, but major part of it is uh, just being occupied by the parabolic space because this is the kidney. And this is the aorta. I will see that this is the collection with bilateral. In the current time, changes, cortical changes of uh, possible infective nature. Okay. Rest of the other parts of the other parts This is the kidney transfer section. Now this is the kidney transfer section, left kidney. Correction. How much is the collection in milliliter? Or collection is approximately 80 ml plus. Thank you.